Well, that's going to be a little update on the Troy Built uh, Rototiller. Ooh, I'm exhausted. <laughs> I'll tell you why in a minute. In a minute. Uh, I got it right here all maxed off, uh, painting the muffler. Um, got some parts. Uh, this is the uh, PTO seal. Uh, these are the axle seals. I got the wrong uh, breather gasket. Got to bring that back. And I got the uh, intake gaskets. In case you didn't know, you double up on these. Uh, these are the rings. Could do that tomorrow. Um, yeah, yeah it's all masked out. It's gonna look good. Um, so what I'm doing right now is I just got this really stubborn keyway out. It's right here. It was rust welded in there. I finally got the snap-on light working right. So this keyway was in there so bad to where this is what I did. I took this screwdriver, I held it like in these big channel locks. All right, I put it right on the. I gotta use this light because that light bulb is out. I I put it right up to that keyway, and I just banged on it with the sledgehammer, and that got it out. I tried 12 different things to try to get that thing out, and it just did not want to go. So I'm gonna replace that light bulb, and I'm gonna get back to work. Maybe have a drink. Um. Yeah, I'm going to replace this light and get right back to you. I got this bulb replaced. First one I put in, as soon as I put it in, it blew. So, this one decided to work, so. So you can see kind of better now. I put this little light here, so you can see better. Alright, so. What I'm replacing here is this right here. This right here I'm replacing, this piece right here, and the little grommet that's underneath it. And uh, this whole plate comes off, and there's a gasket under there that costs $21. And I'm replacing that too. And that gasket is on back order. So, yeah. Here's a keyway. It's rusted, of course. The end is a little messed up. Can't see that well because of the lighting. Uh, and then I'll show you these. These are my homemade snap ring pliers because I don't have any. I took these uh, precision little pliers here from Harbor Freight. I took my bench grinder. And I milled down the edge of them. See if this thing will focus. See, I milled it down a little bit to a point. And they, uh, they work a lot better than no snap ring pliers. So. Yeah. So. Alright, so, I, uh, doing this for now, and, uh, I don't know if I'm going to replace this, this quite yet, um, just because I think I'm going to wait for the, uh, gasket here, because I think it might be easier to replace them both at the same time. Uh, I might just drain the oil and everything, so, alright, that's all for now. This video is going to be in the tiller update video, and it's going to be a how-to video. Um, what's this? Hmm. Um, I had to replace the uh, seal in um, the input seal here. I think there's something on my lens. Can I clear? 
little clearer. Um, so here's an old one. It was just uh, leaking. So uh, I got the new ones. And uh, it comes with two. So I'm assuming it's for two different models. Because this one is a little different from this one. But this one right here is pretty much the same thing as that one. Um, so inside here, you've got this, which is your metal, um, which goes up on the edge here. And you've got your little gasket grommet in here that has a little spring around it to uh, keep it on the shaft. And uh, so the how-to video is going to be how to get this thing out. Now I fiddled around for a little while. I'm going to tap it over here and see if it up enough over here, but it just, I couldn't figure it out, so... I'm going to pass on the uh, how to -ness to everyone else. So pretty much what I did is I took um, two of these screws here, self-piercing, and I took them out of a drill here, and I sank one on one side and one on the other. And what I did is I took my pliers here, all right, and I got them in there enough so they bit. And um, you got to about down here probably about down here to the bearing start uh, between there it's just a place for oil um, so I put one screw there one screw there and slowly but surely it takes a lot of strength you gotta pull on each side pull here pull there pull here pull there and it'll come off um, and another tip is if you're putting it on there um, watch and make sure you don't pull up because if you pull up on this this little spring will come off. So, yep, here it is. New seal put in. Next challenge is try to get the wheels off. Off this little dude here. Something that makes me think it's not going to happen very easily. Try to use an air hammer on it. I don't know. And here's the gasket I was talking about. That goes on. <coughs> that goes on. The back side of this $21 gasket right here this is an old one of course but the new one is $21 yeah you can see it's in pretty rough condition yep so just hope I can get this uh, um, these wheels off That's, other than that I'm pretty much set so just waiting on parts Two more parts, which is that gasket and the uh, little T-handle uh -huh -huh thingy. That's it. And uh, the parts for this, in case you're wondering, uh, between all the fluids and stuff, I estimate about $150 it will come out to. That's dark. Uh, it's a $400 tiller, so it'll probably lasts forever, as long as you don't blow up the engine. So, that's a little how-to video for you. I'm going to clean this up before I uh, put it back on. And uh, I'm going to put it back on there before I get to, but while I'm waiting for the gasket. Because I don't want crap to get in there. Alright, that's all for now. Oh, there we go. Alright, so I got this uh, piece put back on. And... I'll show you this. Um, this is as a result of bad gaskets throughout the engine. The engine sits right here. And judging by these marks, these bolts were loose at one time. That's dug in there. Um, but this is caked on there. I get a screwdriver. It's, it's like really thick and really hard. Hi. Hey.
Yeah, that's like, I can't even, like, that won't even, like, it's, don't want to scrape it off, you know, my fingernail. Alright, there's some on here, this little guide, too. Alright, so, that's all for now. I'll pressure wash this. Put this in the box of parts. There we go. I finally got the shrouds back for this. I just gotta paint them. And uh, I gotta clean up all this stuff. I drained out all the gear oil. This was all the gear oil that was in there. Plus what's ever left in these things. There's probably about an ounce in each of these. So, yeah. I think I should probably get two, three quarts of this gear oil. Because I don't even know if this thing was full. Because it had so many leaks. So I got a feeling the thing wasn't even full. So I'm going to pick up three quarts of that oil. And I think I need like three quarts for this engine. If everyone knows how much oil this thing takes. Four horsepower Briggs. You've all seen it before. If you watch any of the other videos. Alright, so. Mufflers are awesome. Stripped off all the rust with the wire wheel. Yeah. Yeah, it's just one of those things. One of those little things that'll take you five minutes to do. That'll just make the finished product so much better. Yeah, so. Until next time, paint your mufflers.